So it seems Walmart released a new collection box and it's not necessarily new, but it's new. I know that sounds kind of like an oxymoron, but Walmart finally released in the United States the Jirachi V collection boxes. Now, um, if you guys are not familiar with these boxes, I believe these boxes released in European territories uh, quite a while ago. And we're finally getting these, which means that the U.S. territories finally ended up getting the Jirachi V promo and then the Cosmo foil of the Astral Adi uh, Radiance Absol. Um, but we're going to open this product up today. We're going to see if it's worth it. We're going to see how good or bad of a product it is. Is it worth the $21.98 you need to spend at Walmart? Or is this kind of a product that you should pass up? So we're going to review this product today, rate it on a scale of 1 to 10 in terms of its potential. And we're going to see if we can get anything good out of this product as we open it up. Now, I never rate these products based on on what we pull in one video i race it i rate it based on the set that's involved code card for anybody who wants it i uh rate it based on the set i raced i uh, rate it based on the promos and everything else that comes in the box so you get jirachi v this is sword and shield promo 299 i believe yeah 299 beautiful card finally glad to have that in my collection and then we got an absol with a beautiful swirl on the right side Pretty beautiful card. I'm not gonna lie. I really love this Absol card by Ghidorah So to me, these are not bad promos definitely cards I would prefer to add to the collection. Then you get a jumbo card. I don't really collect jumbo cards I just kind of throw them in a box somewhere um, As you can see I have one up here already under my Xbox controller and then you get four booster packs Now this is where I'm gonna kind of Preach for this set, but also knock it because your booster pack selection is two Obsidian Flames, a Paldea Evolved, and an Astral Radiance. I absolutely love all three of these sets. But if you were trying to get some more of the more recent sets or some more exciting sets, I think outside of Paldea Evolved, we could have done a better Sword and Shield set than Astral Radiance. And we absolutely could have done a better Scarlet and Violet set. But I am a firm defender of this set and Astral Radiance. I love both of those sets. So I'm actually happy with that pack selection, but I will say for $21.98, I don't think many people would be happy with that pack selection. I think that's definitely a pack selection that only some people will end up enjoying. So I can understand if there's somebody out there that says this box isn't for me at full MSRP. But for me personally, I actually like the four packs that are here. Let's just hope that one of these packs has got an amazing alternate art or SIR or even IR. I know I'm opening up the City in Flame, so I wouldn't mind that Ninetales. Unfortunately, first pack is just a Darkrai Hollow. So unfortunately, first pack did not have any magic. I haven't opened up Sword and Shield in a good minute. I've been opening up a lot of Scarlet and Violet. Um, I would love to pull that uh, amazing... Uh, Machamp, if not Machamp, any of the trainer gallery cards in this set would be nice. I am a big fan of uh, what's uh, um, Starmie, right? I think Starmie is in this set. I was trying to think of what the big card is, it's either Starmie or Garchomp, but I'm a big fan of both of those. Unfortunately, we're just going to get a Hasuian Arcanine and a Hasuian Basculin Reverse. So, unfortunately, Astral Radiance didn't give us anything great. Now, out of our remaining two packs, we got Paldea Evolved and Obsidian Flames. If there's a, if there's gonna be a hit out of one of these, I would prefer it to be Paldea Evolved because there are a lot of amazing cards out of Paldea that I would love to pit, uh, pull. Unfortunately, just a Claydol Hollow. So Obsidian Flames did not give us anything. So it's up to the Quackaval pack from Paldea Evolved to kind of make this box worth it. This is our last attempt to get something good. So let's see if we can get anything out of this box. Four packs, $21.98. I doubt that the, uh, the Jirachi V promo and the Absol are gonna make up for like that $20 price tag, so. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything out of this box. And that is kind of how collection boxes roll. 
Unfortunately, with collection boxes, this could be your luck with four packs. So that's where I'm going to kind of review this. Is it's not necessarily that the promos are bad. They're definitely dated. A uh, V that's not very playable. And then the Absol that's been around for quite a while. They're not amazing promos. They're cool promos. And they're definitely promos I'm going to be adding to the personal collection. But they're not promos that I would say that I need to buy a $22 box with. With the pack selection, like I said, I enjoy those packs. Kind of wish we would have got something out of those packs instead of getting duds, but I'm not rating based off of that. I'm gonna rate on the packs that we had available to us. Obsidian Flames, Paldea Evolved, and uh, Astral Radiance. I think that's a solid pack selection, but do I think it's a pack selection worth $22? And even if we gave a few dollar value, is that still a pack selection worth 18, 19, $20? dollars I would say no. Just because you can get these packs elsewhere for cheaper, you can find collection boxes with a similar pack selection or a better pack selection for cheaper. So to me, this is kind of your middle of the road collection box. It's not necessarily worth it in a lot of ways, but at the same time, it's not the worst collection box we have seen in recent memory. Uh, Pokemon's got a couple of those out right now. GameStop has one right now that's a $70 collection box with like nine packs and five double rare EXs. Like, Pokemon has released some dookie collection boxes. I don't think this is one of them, but this is nowhere near a top level collection box. So I think if I was to rate this product, a, a flat five out of 10 right there directly in the middle is where I'm gonna put this product. Once again, you get some nice promos. If you missed out on these, if you were unable to get these, these are great ways to add these to the collection. But when it comes to this box itself, this is 100% a box that I would buy a kid who loves Pokemon that doesn't care about what they get. But if you're a collector looking to open up some fun packs and maybe get some cool cards to add to your collection while open up a collection box, this may not be the product for you. So once again, right down the middle of the road, 5 out of 10. With that being said, guys, let me know down in the comment section below, what do you think about this box? Remember, this is a Walmart exclusive as of now, as of recording. $21.98 is the price tag. Is this worth $22 to you? Are you going to pay $22 to get these two awesome promos? Or would you rather just buy these promos as single and avoid the pack selection that we've seen today? Let me know your thoughts and opinion in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, I'll catch you on the next video. Remember to keep it classy and stay awesome.